Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are playing Space Agency Mission Number 19. Today we will be rescuing the MSS. Not sure what that means, but let's start with our briefing and I'm sure it will tell us. So, for mission number 19, the MSS rescue, we must bring the spinning MSS under control, re-enter one of the Suez modules, and we have a maximum budget of 100 million dollars, and a maximum time of 20 minutes, zero seconds. A call has come in from a foreign power requesting urgent assistance. An emergency has developed on the MSS space station. A module has been damaged and has left the space station spinning out of control. Fly to the damaged MSS and bring it back under control, then return the MSS crew to home by separating one of the attached lock modules and returning it to orbit around home. This is what those lock modules look like, by the way. Once in orbit, separate the lock crew capsule, re-enter it, and splash down into the ocean. This mission is seen by our government as an excellent opportunity for us to usher in a new era of international cooperation in space. Good luck. So for the gold award in this mission, we must complete it in 10 minutes, 30 seconds, or less, with no checkpoints, at a cost of $7,500,000 or less. So, let us go to our vehicles, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking I need to use a resupply module on this, because I don't know what the condition of the crew of the MSS is. So, we'll use the Mercury first stage and a connector, and then we will put a resupply module on. Now, let's bring a little bit extra for supplies here. Let's bring some water, some carbon dioxide strugger, scrubbers, and some oxygen, as well as a few extra batteries, just in case. Then we'll put our arrow fairing on here. And, oops, we want to go to our boosters. Let's use some long march boosters here. And I think that's it. I think we're ready to launch now. Skip ahead, and then at about three and a half seconds, we can hit the ignition. Boom. Just like that. Now we're going to do our thing, and we'll kind of pulse our engines a little bit. Well, we let the boosters do most of the work to get us into space. Perfect. All right. Now get ready, because we're going to turn very soon. Yes, here we go. And right about here. This should be perfect. And we can just kind of keep pulsing our engines, turn a little bit more to stay in the green. And then I'll just keep pulsing my engines until I get to the uh, required 45 degree angle. So we're now we're like, yeah, right about here. So we're like perfectly lined up on the roll angle. And we'll just, you know, use our engines, and we'll just, we'll just go. Run ourselves out of fuel, because we aren't going to need it with the first stage. So, just like this. And perfect amount of fuel. And then we can separate our fairing, and separate our first stage. And separate our connector. Now, all we need to do is line up the red exit line with the MSS marker to the top right of the screen. And right about... Right about now! Ooh, that looks, that looks perfect, actually. Yeah, so we'll just get ourselves perfectly aligned and then we can rotate 180 degrees so we can use our main boosters to slow ourselves down that's gonna be perfect absolutely perfect BAM now that we're properly aligned with the station let's kinda peek over here hmm. so we're gonna be kind of above the 
target area by a little ways here, but that should be fine. Um, we're not going to want to hurdle directly into the station, because we do have to remove one of the, or not remove, but uh, fly one of those CS modules home, so we want to we want to be close, but not too close. There we are. That's perfect. So we're going to start slowing down at about 60 units, I think. It's like right now. And we want to we want to make sure that we stop early on this one. Because we don't want to uh, put them in more danger than is strictly necessary. What do we have here? Okay, so we've got... See, so yes, modules. Let's slow ourselves down like this. Let's see what we got. We got that one has. Ooh, that one has a lot of fuel left. So let's let's see if we can stop this. Let's line it up with home. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Boom! I lined this perfectly up with home. Now let's check out what's going on. Okay, so the fuel lines are on. Let's just suck all the fuel out here, and then we will close up our fuel lines. Okay, so that looks great, actually. Let's, let's launch this thing. And then we can bring ourselves to a complete stop, and we can let's start moving over here get ourselves lined up with this Suyez module. Not quite lined up with it. We're at a slightly different angle, but that's fine. Right about here should be good. We'll just move over. And then eventually we're going to want to get moving upwards. I think something like this. And in a couple seconds, we shall end up, like, in the proper location to connect to it. Yes. So do I, do I want to speed up? No. No, let's just let's go straight. So right about there. And then, perfect. Okay, so now we're heading straight home. So let's launch the thrusters just like this. Let's get ourselves sped up so we can make quick work of this return trip. Alright, there we are. That should be perfect. Now we're going to come here and we're going to transfer the remaining fuel to the Suyez module here. Just like this. Now. We are full on fuel. Okay, that's perfect. So, how far are we from home? We're almost home, so I'm going to use the thrusters on this to slow me down below escape velocity, and then I will separate, and I will ditch this right about there. That's probably gonna be pretty close to right into the atmosphere. Ooh, no, it's not. Let's do that. That should be right into the atmosphere. There we go. Now, we're coming in slightly high with this module, but that's fine. What do we have? We're going to skim over the top of that satellite, I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We are, we are really close to that satellite. That's fine, though. We got this. We can actually just slow ourselves right down. And let's start the rotation to get ourselves oriented correctly. And here we are. Per not perfect. Come on. Perfect. There we go. Now we're perfect. Perfect is fun. Perfect is good. So let's separate our modules. Okay, so we have the lock base separated, the Suyez module separated, and now we have our lander core. And we just need to take the lander core and keep it upright long enough, because we oriented it correctly so the heat shield is on the bottom. And now we just need to, need to land it in the ocean. Yes, this nice, fun mini game here where we get to hit the left and the right button 
keep it pointed downward. Okay, we're about halfway done now. There we go. Just need to get between the two brackets. And then once we're between the brackets, we can do our thing. Press the button, let the uh, parachute go, and gently glide down to the ocean. There we are. Just about bottoming out right now. Perfect. Perfect. So now we'll just keep ourselves steady. And once the bottom of the altitude indicator reaches the lower arrow, right about now, we hit the parachute. And just like that, we are done. Wow, so we're about, about what, 10 minutes, 30 seconds? So we're about 2 minutes, 30 seconds faster than the required time here. That's awesome. We'll see our final score in a minute. Once we hit the ocean. Yes, here we are. Nice, easy landing in the ocean. And hopefully someone comes and picks us up. I mean, they could leave us here. It's, it's possible. But I, I think I think they'll come pick us up. They're, they're nice. They're friendly. They'll do it. It's good. It's fine. Alright, so we have achieved the gold award in 8 minutes, 12 seconds. With a maximum cost of $7,250,000. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have yourselves a wonderful night.